What's going on, gamers? Today, we're going to go over how to add scheduled tasks to your Apex Minecraft server. Our control panel at Apex makes it easy to automate commands for your server using scheduled tasks. Scheduling tasks allows you to automate a great number of server management actions like backing up, restarting, or broadcasting messages by utilizing commands. First, to access your tasks, you need to head to the left side of your Apex panel and then select Scheduled Tasks. This will direct you to the task list with several tasks already issued for your server like Backup, Restart, and Restart Warning. To create a new task, head over to the left side once again and select New Task in the top left. On this page, you'll find all of the fields that you can alter to create your new scheduled task. Anything marked with an asterisk will be a required field. In this example, I'm going to set up a task to announce to our server that they need to remember to vote, and I will run the task every 24 hours. First, start off by giving your task a name. In most cases, it's convenient to name it with the action it's going to perform, so here we're going to set the name to Vote Reminder. Next, you'll want to set your task status. The status field will need to be set to either scheduled or paused. Scheduled would indicate that the task is set to run at the next scheduled time, while paused would mean that the task is not currently set to run. Next, you will need to set up when it will first run by clicking the scheduled time input to access the calendar and the time selector. This time will be in the panel's time zone, which is currently UTC. You can check the current time in UTC at the top right of the page, and then you can use a time zone converter to go to your own time zone. Be sure to set the time to something in the future to make sure the task runs. Next, you can set the task to run at an interval after the initial scheduled time. Otherwise, it's only going to run once. Here, I'm setting it to run at an interval of one time per day. Next, the command area defines what command will be executed at the respective scheduled time and set interval. If your command has any additional arguments, like the say command, then you can add the text that you want to say here. And finally, in the run for command, this sets the task to run only if a certain player is online or always if server is selected. Once you've filled out all of the needed information, click create and the task will be placed in a queue to be processed. Whether you want to remind your players to do something specific each day, or you want to give your players specific items every so often while they're online, there are a ton of options to choose from with the ability to create even more of your own. And once it's set up, the best part is you don't even have to be online to make it happen. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. Until next time, gamers.